thanks everyone welcome um it's an honor to be able to uh, be your moderator this session what we'll do we'll talk about freedom in lockdown and we'll do it with you the students what this is all about and also with the president of the Vrije Universiteit Amsterdam Miriam van Praag and one of the largest expressions of freedom maybe is light as Martin Luther King said a long time ago darkness cannot push away darkness only light can hate cannot push out hate only love can therefore i'd love to light a candle for you and we'll do that every session can you tell me a little bit about how you are doing in these times of corona overall i don't think i'm doing as bad as others you know you're always doing better i have a house i have food i didn't lose my job because my parents provide for me but it did affect me as well you know as you know being in a new country is quite hard on its own but then having corona where you can't interact with teachers or lecturers and having to sit at home makes you like hard to keep motivated and keep studying as well as not being able to interact and making friends and i think that's what i found most difficult is not being able to socialize so you haven't been here without corona yet no sadly so have have you been able to meet anyone or how do you do i mean Initially, it was quite hard because my study is mostly Dutch people, so they already have their group of friends, so they're not really interested in communicating with others, especially with Corona, you're scared to meet people. And the way that I managed to make friends is initially through Zoom Roulette, and I met uh, fellow students there, we started a WhatsApp friend group, and from there we created a Discord group where we game every Friday night. And like that way we socialize, we meet at university, of course, regarding Corona rules and study together. So it's like, there's hope. I am working way more than I normally would. So uh, yeah, I am working a lot more and it, it can be seen as a positive because you're being more productive, but it can also uh, be a very big downfall because you're, might potentially overwork yourself. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, overall, I'm doing pretty well. Yeah. yeah. And I try to deal with it by just calling with friends as well as focusing on work and studying. Yeah. People yeah. around me do feel also down. And like, also, when you are in lockdown, you can't really work out anymore. So you start gaining weight. So you start feeling lower. And I see that in a lot of people. Yeah. And in me as well. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's it's. I think it's very brave of you to share that, and it helps other people as well because then uh, they will certainly recognize that. Um, so that helps a lot. Thank you. And is there also anything positive for you in Corona times, or something that is especially instructive that you learn something from? For me, it was learning to pick myself up when I feel really low. I think that is something that people don't really focus on when you're so distracted by other things in life, like, oh, I have work and I actually need to go to work. I have uni and I need to go to uni. You stop self-reflecting, but when you're alone constantly and you don't have much to do and everything's at home, you start seeing the wrong things that you do or how you don't know how to cope when you feel down. So I think self-development is a thing that really uplifted me. Yeah. Yeah, very good. So that makes you grow. And is that the same? If I see you. Uh, yeah, uh, I have to agree agreeing. with that. Yeah. 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 I I also think that it made me more efficient as well as disciplined, I guess, because there's less um, uh, distraction around me. And there's more like, um, yeah, I can be more focused on things I actually really want to do, right? So you're like, okay, I want to work on this project or I want to work on this. And then often there's so many distractions and you could just go wherever, go shopping or anything. And now I think I've put more effort into learning to be more efficient with my work or school work as well as, yeah, as well as just work and also discipline towards that. So do more what I should do. The students, as I hear, and, 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 and as I hear you reflect also, Miriam, there's so much personal development going on, and like this mental strength or exactly what you just stressed, that maybe I think when the societal orientation will be possible again, people will be eager and jumping and waiting to contribute. 
And with this multidisciplinary unique approach of the VU, this might just kickstart a new renaissance. So maybe this is like the silence before the storm in a positive way, like the storm of ideas and of hope and of creativity and of new possibilities. So I would really, really like to see it in that way. And I hope that's the way it will develop, like with really strong students that know themselves and are centered that way and are eager to go in the world and change it for the better with everything they learned at the future.